Hello, my name is Jessie and I've been at VSA since year two. This year upon graduation, I am looking to pursue my interests in law at the University of Cambridge. I recall that upon graduating primary school, we wrote down our future aspirations and I had dreamt of becoming a lawyer. At that time, this profession seemed glamorous and exciting, yet I don't think I really understood what it truly entailed. After these years, I now better understand the law as a body that reflects and underpins the society that it governs and its importance as a mechanism for safety and protection. At VSA, the diverse range of extracurricular activities that we can partake in has allowed me to both explore my interests and better understand and develop my own strengths and weaknesses. Having been a part of MUN since year seven, I was exposed to the avid debate surrounding international issues, which has allowed me to dabble in and extend myself within the realm of debate and diplomacy. I also participated in mock trial and mooting competitions alongside the VSA Law Society. These competitions have offered great insights into the pertinence of law in our daily lives, as well as honed my critical thinking and analytical skills when dealing with complex legal issues. These also involve a lot of quick and on-the-spot thinking to adapt and respond to the other counsel, which enabled me to practice my improvisation and oral advocacy skills. With VSA and the IB curriculum's strong emphasis on the importance of being globally-minded learners, I gained an awareness of local and global issues early on. This prompted me to act, to engage in volunteering through local charities, but also to kindle such efforts within the school community. Last year, a few friends and I undertook a pen pal project under our self-initiated club Saki Pisla, which connected less privileged children in Siargao, Philippines with students at VSA. Through this exchange of letters and handmade gifts over a few months, students were not only able to develop their communication skills, but also to make new friends and learn more about a different culture and lifestyle. In the future, I plan on engaging in pro bono work to provide value and benefit others, especially in protecting disadvantaged groups, with the legal knowledge I will acquire at Cambridge. I had the opportunity to take on numerous leadership roles over the years within cast clubs, school teams, and self-initiated projects, such as being head prefect and now as deputy head girl, where I collaborated and engaged with students, teachers, staff, and guests in group discussions, club sessions, as well as in the planning and coordination of events. Although these positions were oftentimes challenging, those setbacks were all lessons that gave me an opportunity to grow tremendously in the way I engage and interact with others, and in my own development as a leader and individual. This would definitely not have been possible without the leaders at VSA, whether it would be teachers, the senior leadership team, or my peers, who have supported, inspired, trusted, and encouraged me. When it came to university applications, the support and advice from my university counselors were invaluable, for they gave me a lot of direction amidst the otherwise unfamiliar and stressful process. Overall, my time at VSA has been fruitful, and I am very grateful to have been a part of this vibrant community that has allowed me to grow as a student, leader, and individual. Now, as I close this chapter and approach the next, I carry with me all the invaluable lessons and skills I've learned and honed along the way, and will continue to strive to be the best version of myself.